heads up display. The health bar is shown in the upper left hand corner. The length of the health bar is determined by body type. If a medic buffs your health, the meter will extend by one pip. Further pips can be added with purchased abilities or by the capture of a health command post. Your current character class is displayed to the left of the health bar. Active buffs are displayed to the right. If you are able to self-buff, it will be indicated here. The status of your team's primary objective is shown on the right in yellow, with active secondary tasks underneath in blue. The mission timer is positioned in the upper right-hand corner. It displays how long the attacking team has remaining to complete the mission. In campaign and objective modes, the mission timer is extended as each primary objective is completed. The radar displays the position of your teammates in white and any spotted enemies in red. Your current objective is also displayed. The other icons represent deployable objects, such as mines. The grenade icon shows what type of grenade the character is prepared to throw. Once a grenade is thrown, the meter turns grey and will slowly refill. When the meter has refilled, the player can throw another grenade. Each grenade type has a separate refill meter. Your current weapons icon is displayed next to the ammunition count. The ammunition count shows the rounds in the weapon currently and how many rounds are available for reloading. The secondary weapon icon is displayed here. Changing. The lower left shows the special abilities of your character as well as your supply meter. Select the ability by pressing the corresponding direction. Once used, the ability icon will grey out for a cooldown. It cannot be used again until the icon has refilled. Using most abilities will consume one pip of your supply meter. The meter will slowly replenish when not in use.